hey guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna show you guys how to disable your default player uh player board or any other default gui inside of roblox studio so let's get started all right guys so this is very very easy to do to disable all guis or just specific uh default uis what you guys want to do is open up star player and in uh you want to add a local script in either star character scripts or star player scripts Whichever one you add the low, lower script, the local script into, it will work just fine. So just for the video, I'm gonna go add this inside of star, uh, starter player scripts. Hey guys, so as you know, if you saw my new community post on my channel, I have announced our next Robux giveaway live stream. It will take place when the channel does hit 3,000 subscribers. Now there will be a separate information video that I will post when the channel reaches 2,900 subscribers, which will give everyone enough time to enter. Now the rules will be the exact same as usual. You have to be subscribed to the channel, be in my Roblox group, and comment down your Roblox username uh, on the information video. Now, like I said before, the information video is currently not uploaded yet. And it will be available at 2,900 subscribers. But what you can do now is subscribe, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and join my Roblox group linked in the description below of all my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Good luck. Add an a local script. And what this is, is basically just two lines. So we need to first add our variable. So I'm just going to name it star GUI is equal to game get service. And we're going to add two speech marks and we're going to do star GUI. So this will just call up the all the UI functions. Now when I go down, I'm going to start GUI colon set core GUI enabled, and in the bracket I'm going to write enum dot core type core GUI type, and then dot. Now here is where it gets interesting. What you guys want to do? You can choose which one of these UIs that you want to disable. Now we can either choose the player list, emotes, menu, self view, captures, health, backpack, or all. So just uh, for now, we're just try the player list. So we're gonna do player list, and then you wanna write comma and then false. And therefore now, because we just disabled the player list, I should be able to use any UI. So including, you can see that I can use my chat, I can use my emotes, but I can't use my player board. Now, same thing if we were to go back into the script and we change this to chat. I shouldn't be able to use uh, my chat. My player board is back. And as you can see, there's no button for chat. Now, there are specific UIs. Like, it's better if I show you. All right, guys. So here, I just changed the thing to all. So all UIs will be disabled. Now, I can't open up my menu. Uh, I mean, my emotes menu. I can't open up the uh, player board or chat. But even though we disabled um, all the UIs, we will still have these two. And these are just the, ma the, main, uh, the main ones, I guess. So the Roblox like menu to leave or reset. And then this is for obviously reporting or respawning your character. And this is your motion tracking, which is based off of your Roblox settings. So if you, were to, if you wanted to disable this, you would have to disable it off of your Roblox account. Uh, might make a separate video on how to do that. But yeah, that's how you do it, guys. So that's basically for this video. I know it's a very, very short video. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. If this video helped out, be sure to like uh, the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.